like if I think of jam spaces, I think of people's bedrooms with a lot of instruments uh, in there and kind of getting pretty hot and kind of smelly. We have had a jam in here. It was pretty squishy, like a couple of jams in here. Um, but that's not. It's not that conducive to a kind of good rehearsal because it's kind of a bit cluttered and stuff. But no, it's also like jam spaces are great, but it's also always such a nice feeling when you go outside for a cup of tea or something and like to get out of that space for a while. reach over far to press record and then you're like and so now we rehearse a bit at uh, Kushal's warehouse in North Melbourne. It's got a big empty space at the bottom. It's just like there's two floors and so there's six people living upstairs and downstairs. They're eventually going to turn into a gallery and studios for artists and stuff but at the moment it's just a big empty room with a lot of reflective walls and put a lot of reverb on everything but um I think it will be a bit quiet. Ideally, I would like to be jamming together 90% of the time, but I enjoy it. It's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> it's right. Ideal jam space would be free. Yeah. Money free. I think when you're starting out and you see posters and someone playing a gig and stuff, maybe you don't realise that it, that doesn't just happen like magically. Mainly just do it all yourself. My The reality of it, is, of it is that you need, obviously, a job, like a day job, to live. Playing gigs, we keep playing, it gets better and better as we go on, and it just grows. And I like the idea of a lot of people listening to it and enjoying it. 